Can we just pass through here? Wait, you're here. Hey, yo, what's up? Have you seen Team Plasma anywhere around here? I heard rumors to that effect. Oh, sh**. No, oh, for crying out loud. This is the troublesome indeed, my curious trainers. Perhaps I should satiate your curiosity somewhat. The reason I'm still part of Team Plasma is this. I want to know how the world will change. Listen, Pokemon on nature. Pokemon are A few moments later. And I want to enjoy it. And like, me and Hugh are just sat here. Me and Chris are just like, who's your mate? <laughs> is this your friend? He's not mine. Guys, it's Gameboy Luke here, and welcome back to episode 30. 30? <laughs> episode 30 of the Vault White 2 Egglock. In the last episode, we did a little bit of backtracking um, from you guys in the comment section. Let me know that we needed to go back to catch some new Pokemon. There's a bunch of like, uh, the things between the grass, the, the trees. I forget what they're called. It's like, this game's gimmick where you can go into like a secret base, but for Pokemon. I've forgotten the name of it. Don't judge me. It's uh, it's a mechanic in this game. It will come to me. It's called something. Um, in this episode, we're going to be going back again because uh, we did miss Juan. And I know that he's in, he's chilling in Miss Charlton City. So uh, we need to go back to that place that I just said, Miss Charlton City, and go face him. I was wondering to myself, I was like, how many of the gym leaders have we missed then? If Juan is here and he's like the final gym leader in the other uh, Pokemon game. Uh, all right, no, uh, Emerald, Emerald. Uh, apparently, um, they go out of order from this point, unless they've already been out of order and I just haven't noticed. But apparently Juan is in Estralton City and then Tate and Liza and uh, I forget who the other one is. It's not, no, because Wallace, Wallace is like, wait, hold on. It's Juan. Then we're known as in Opulicid City. Tate and Liza are on Route 22. And apparently you can face Steven and Wallace in Icarus City. I don't know if that's post-game or not. But yes, Juan is here in, I believe we saw him in the, was it the Pokemon Center? He's just chilling in there? He is, he's up here. So, sick. So we're gonna start this episode off by beating his ass. Because to be honest with you, we have a Venusaur, so we're chilling. Mm, I do not know where to take my artistic, my tight artistic, artistic talents next. Alas, I am a Pokemon trainer and appears so are you. Would you allow my Pokemon and I to show you our grand illusions? I don't know, what? Genial? Genial, let us, let us begin. Is that like Italian? I don't know. I don't know if that's Italian or not. But we're playing against Juan. Just to one Cornetto, give it to me. But it's okay, because he's level 44. And he, I should have, honestly, oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't, I didn't heal up. Um, he, um, we should have probably fought him straight after the gym leader. I forgot to do it, but I won't forget, since I have the, I have the, a, the document up right here, so I can see exactly where the next ones are. He has a love disc. He has a love disc. All right, question, right? So Gen 5 is great and all. There are some of you in the comment section that are like, yeah, I'm a Gen 5-er. What of it? And I'm like, more power to you. It's fantastic. Why doesn't Love Disc evolve into Alamomola? Why is that not a... How did you live? No, but really, why does Love Disc not evolve into Alolomola? Al -al 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 that literally does not make sense to me. Would Love Disc have been any better with an Eviolite? No, it wouldn't. It's just, it wouldn't have been. I'll break through, it's fine. That's our queen. Oh, it has Ice Beam too. I think I'm scared. I think I'm scared. Boom! Boom! Love Disc trashed. All right, who's next then? Who's next? Wall Rain. Okay, well, I can't stay in with you. Let's go to Shine. Let's go to Shine. Did you guys know that Wolverine's primary ice? I didn't. I thought it was primary water. The Soul Link taught me that. I had to release a pair because of this thing. Who's prim- Every single water ice Pokemon is primary water. Right? Every single water ice type Pokemon is primary- Do I have the Thunderbolt? I have the Thunderbolt TM now, don't I? Right? Should've taught him Thunderbolt. Every single one. 
I, yo, someone's about to correct me in the comment section, but actually, Dugong is primary ice. Oh, shit! Oh. <laughs> Kai, why are you getting so worried? This is Shine we're talking about here. Twinkle, twinkle. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, what was I saying? I, yeah, so I, I mean, I assume most, well, the most, okay, if not all, most water ice type Pokemon are primary water. So that confused me. I didn't know that, all right? I didn't know that. Wish Cash. Okay, well, straight back to Nutmeg we go then. This is easy. So yeah, I think I definitely should have... Played against this. He's gonna have focus. He's gonna have focus sash, isn't he? Oh, he's got the green berry. The rindo. It ain't enough. It ain't enough. I still killed him in one hit. Jeez, I must have done like 300 over, like over 200 percent to him. Kingdra. Okay, let's go to. I was about to be like, let's go to Cronoa because that sounds like a brilliant idea. But actually, that's probably really bad. I don't have anything to deal with. Ice beam. I mean, Summer could probably do something with Zen Ember, but I'm not going to kill it in one hit. Oh, fuck it, why not? I'll to go to Drodigan, but then I realize, actually, he's probably faster than me, and he'll probably Dragon Pulse me. So I'm going to use something that we actually can resist a Dragon-type move with. Take minimal damage from a Water-type move. Oh, he's doing it. He's actually doing it. I'm analytic, so it gets boosted. Oh boy. Oh boy. I I am scared. Do I just go to Nutmeg for safety? But he's gonna have Ice Beam, so it would kill me the turn after that. I have to stay in and just hope. Oh! <sighs> I thought he was gonna go for Surf, but he went for Hydro Pump and missed. Oh my god. That might have been a death right there. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, maybe it's a good maybe it's a good thing we didn't fight him earlier. Maybe it's a good thing we came back now and did it because Oh! Okay. I 100 percent saw a death coming there. Without a doubt. But it's it's conquered, it's dealt with, and now finally after all this time we can we can we can move on. We can move on. We've hatched as many eggs as we need. Um, and I'm, in fact, we, as we move forward, I think we'll be catching some more Pokemon anyways. The only issue is, is that the more Pokemon I catch, I actually have no idea where they're going to be placed to. So, let me just check the box real quick. I need to make sure I have space. I, I have four spaces, so we should be, we should be good. Never mind, we should be alright. I just don't want to be in that situation where we catch a Pokemon and it gets transferred to a random empty space and I have no idea where it's gone. You know, I don't want to literally not know where the Pokemon has been transferred to, so... You know, we're gonna we're gonna make it work. I just noticed as well. I don't know if the camera app is doing this, but I'm looking at the lens on the on the camera. It's slightly different to what I'm seeing in the whatever. Okay, moving on swiftly. Where the hell are we now? Who? What are you? I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, it's kind of bop. The music's a bop. He's like dancing on his own. Okay. We're now into spring. I don't know if this is a new area. We should give Cronoa some sh a shot, dude. I want to. I want to give Cronoa a shot. So where are we now? Oh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna leave and come back. Route 13. I believe this is a new area, right? So I should be able to just catch a Pokemon and then hatch it later. Let's go with that. Okay. Do I show off Cronoa's fearsome power? I'm gonna use a fire. I'm gonna use Fire Fang real quick and just see if it kills. Okay, that's not bad. For a non stab move, that's not bad. Granted, the Pokemon is nine levels lower than me, but still, that's not bad. Listen, if you're watching this video right now, get yourself a glass of water. It's shit. Water has no damn reason to slap this hard, all right? No damn reason, but... 
Unfortunately, you guys won't be able to do it in your stylish Game Boy Cups, but it's fine. Drink water. Oh, you know what? I'm, you know what? I've forgotten to do it today, so I'll make sure I do it right now. I'm gonna take my drugs for the day. Not that many. These are vitamin D pills because the UK doesn't get enough sunlight. So. Although, saying that, this is one of the rare days where it's super sunny outside. Alright, so we caught that Pokemon. I'm gonna move on. Skipping trainers as usual in Game Boy Luke fashion. Um, I recognize this route actually. I think the last time I said maybe it was snowy. We need strength. Oh no, Mammoth White has strength. Okay, that's fine. It's Lil Boots! It's Need a Cut, dude! Y'all remember this boy? Oh, excuse me. Oh, hold on. All right, Cronoa, we can't lead with you. We can't lead with you because you don't have any speed. You don't have any speed whatsoever. Never mind. I'd rather lead with Gengar. Okay, let's push this. Um, let's push this boulder out the way. Is this the way we're meant to go? I don't even know. Is this the way we're the way the way we're meant to go? I don't even know. It is not. But it's cool because there's a little pointy thing here. I don't know why that's there, but sure. I need to encounter any more Pokemon, so... Actually, I can... What am I talking about? Because what I can just do... Is jump on the Super Repels. And then I can still lead with... Pranoa. Alright, it's fine. No worries. Okay, cool. Alright. This route this route music is... Low tier. We go this way? Dude, I have no idea where I am. That's a... Holy fuck, wait, that's Cobalion. Hold on a second. Hold up! Hold up a sec. Can I- So you tell me I can catch him right- oh, yeah, I actually can. Wow. Um. That's another really good Pokemon. Or like high level Pokemon to add. Wait, can we catch him? He said, fuck off. <laughs> that's what he said. There you go. Alright, this one's not shiny. Okay, so can we Alright, I wanna I wanna get this done over real quick. Like I'm gonna put him to sleep, right? He goes for whatever. Giga Drain, resisted move, brilliant. Keep him asleep. Keep him asleep. Oh the crit was clutch! The crit was absolutely clutch. Okay, let's start throwing balls. That crit was perfect. Literally focus sashed him. Someone's messing me. First ball, go on. Go on. It's not hard, is it? It's not difficult. This game is easy. Actually, in all, f in all serious, I think I had a 5% chance to catch that Cobalion. So that's kind of ridiculous. That I just called out my first ball. Jesus. Wow. Easy. Are we here? Opulicid? Oh, hi there, Lukey. Hey, up. Oh. Got off the bike instantly. <laughs> I use fly, so it looks like I beat you here. Fuck off, being a killer. I don't have this town unlocked yet. Thank you for your help in Reversal Mountain, though. If you go straight past Luc Lacunosa Town, you'll reach Opulicid City. But before you go, there's something I want you two to hear. Oh, so we're in Lac Lacunosa Town. Uh, like, what is it? You'll know soon enough now. Hurry now. Where's the music? Do 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 Ah, you must be the ones who want to hear the old tale about Lacunosa Town. I'm just like, no, 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 no. That that's right. Please tell us, Juniper. All right, my dearies, please come in. I'll put the kettle on. Oh, would you look at the time? It's copper o'clock. All right. Behind Lacunosa Town, there's a mighty big hole. Have you heard of the giant chasm? Oh, uh, I've like heard about the chasm, but I'd, I've been there for a brief. Oh, I heard there are brief temperatures reading minus 58 Fahrenheit. That's what Sharon told me anyway. The road is blocked, um, so we can't get there right now. A long, long time ago, the giant chasm was created when a big meteorite fell from the sky. A really scary Pokemon was hidden inside that- So you're telling me Kyurem's a fucking alien as well? A meteorite? 
When darkness falls over the land, this Pokemon appears. A frigid wind follows it. It freezes everything around and eats people and Pokemon. That's why everyone was afraid. The, the, the Pokemon... The, oh my god, the Pokemon ate people? So our ancestors surrounded the town with walls to prevent the Pokemon from getting inside the town. Also, a rule was made forbidding anyone to go outside after dark. And that's the end of the old tale. Oh, a fascinating story. I'll add it to my research records. Everyone, we should be going. Well, that's... She's like, the kettle's still boiling. Did you not want some tea? I've got some biscuits. Digestives, too. Wasn't that, some, wasn't that an interesting folktale? The Pokemon's true identity may be unknown, but the power mentioned in the story is incredible. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. The power to freeze everything around it could even rival the power of the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon. Yes, Bianca. It's almost like Reshiram, who scorched you know with blazing fire uh, long ago. By the way, Luki, do you remember the story of Reshiram? Yes. So you remember I told you a little about it in Lentimus Town. Reshiram is a legendary Pokemon. I literally just said that I did know this, so why are you telling me? Uh, Professor, do you like think there's a connection between the Pokemon from the old story and the legendary dragon type Pokemon? The meteorite. Uh, yeah, the meteorite. Reshiram was re revived from a rock called the Light Stone. Let's suppose the meteorite was from this story, and the story and the stone were the one and the same. Take into account the elements from the same era were found in Dragon Spiral Tower where Reshiram was, and in the giant chasm. It doesn't prove anything, but it could be a piece of the puzzle. Let's not write it off as coincidence just yet. Uh, if your theories are true, there should be a really strong Pokemon. What kind of reason would there be for it to only come out at night? Like, if it doesn't like sunlight or something like that? Until we look, at it more, look into it more deeply, it'd be hard to say anything about that. But now I think about it, the name Lacunosa could be derived from Lacunosa's clouds, which are clouds that resemble a network fence. I wonder if the name is related to the part of the story where they built walls to protect the town from that Pokemon. Oh, I'm sorry, I rambled on a little bit. Luki, could, uh, could you ask uh, Drayden about this if you get the chance? I'm going to do a little field work. Bianca, help out, okay? Uh, sure thing, boss. Oh, just so you know, Opie, this is Mayo, Drayden. Wrestles up, wrestles with this Pokemon to toughen them up. Professor Juniper, wait up! Alright, okay, sick. We're done here. Um, so what's the dealio? I don't really reckon- There's a fucking swimming pool on someone's roof. This is a rich city. This is a rich town, dude. I like how you can see the other routes in the background. That's pretty sick. That's pretty neat, though. Um, so I'm already lost. There's a police officer over there. Back on the bike I go. Let's heal up first, I think. Was there one in Lucky Knows the Town? No. No, there's not. Opulisid City is the next one, which is Winona. <laughs> All right. Swag. Sweet deal, brother. So. Can we just pass through here? Because they want us to speak to... Wait, you're here. Hey, yo, what's up? Have you seen Team Plasma anywhere around here? I heard rumors to that effect. Oh, shit. No, oh, for crying out loud. This is a troublesome indeed, my curious trainers. Perhaps I should satiate your curiosity somewhat. The reason I'm still part of Team Plasma is this. I want to know how the world will change. Listen, Pokemon are nature. Pokemon's a civilization. Humans who are used... To use the civilization, don't relinquish it quickly. Of course, both nature and civilization are important, but what will happen to our world? Take it out of my team, Plasma! People will be forced to throw Pokeballs, a product of civilization. I want to know what that looks like, and I want to enjoy it. And like, me and Hugh, I just sat here, me and Chris here, just like... Who's your mate? <laughs> is this your friend? He's not mine. Shut your mouth! All I want is to get, the, get back the stolen Pokemon. Luki, give me a hand, you ready? Just to let you know, you about to feel my rage! Alright, dude, let's go. He actually says that in a little anime short as well. I made sure I watched it because someone tweeted at me. He's like, <laughs> you're about to feel my rage. Alright. Alright, Zinzolin. What a freaking name, dude. Alright, Cryogonal and. Wait, did I leave with. Shh. Yo, he's level 51, bro. Alright, I'm glad I leveled up. Uh, wait, no, I let off with. It's even worse. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, I think Shine's... Yeah, Shine's the best answer here. It has to be. Oh my god, water! Damn! Alright, so look. Oh... He opted for the weather effects. How dare thy? How dare thy? Hammer on! Goodbye! He's dead. He's just gone. That's deleted. That's straight deleted. 
He had a focus sash and all. Acid spray. Oh, they're really picking on this um, ember. Okay, that's fine. I'll discharge. I'm not gonna surf. Oh, does Cryogon have Snow Cloak? Does Cryogon have Slow Cloak? I'm gonna discharge so I don't do too much damage to Embor here. Oh, that was a crit. We're fine. It did nothing to me. Boom. Sorry, Ember. Had to be done. <laughs> he turns, oh, Christy turns around and looks at me. He's like, Why are you doing this to me? I was like, Well, it's your Ember, mate. You chose to have Ember. Stop judging me. All right, easy. All right, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Wall Rain, Crocodile. Oh, this is very problematic. Um, This is a good. Hmm. If anything, maybe, I think again, ground, not our strongest type to fight against. I think it's a good job we put Cheshire on the team. But Crocodile, oh my god, this sucks. I actually have no combo here. None of the combos I have, someone is always already weak to it. And he's probably gonna go for a water type move too. So if anything, I think Nutmeg's the sh Oh, dude, this is tough. Because the ground type move is 100% coming. This is hard. This is difficult, dude. None of the Pokemon I can bring out are safe at all. And if I take damage, oh, this sucks. This royally sucks. The biggest threat there, I think, is... I want to say War Rain, but I think Surf is stronger, so I'm going to go for Proop. I hope, they, I hope they double in on Embor and they use something else other than an Earthquake. Alright, Blizzard. That's fine. Oh, that's gonna... Ah, uh, that's gonna... Use Dig, you don't have Earthquake. I fought out! Ah, oh, but he dug, dude. Sorry, I need to go with Embor. Embor's not helping us at all. He has Ice Body. Um... Okay, I don't, I don't know who what he's gonna go for. He, he's, he's gotta use Dig on, he's gonna use it on Shine, so I have to switch out the Gengar. We're gonna use Blizzard. In the hail, it's not gonna miss. Oh my criminy crackers! Yeah, he used it on me. Ah, oh, that's that's a play. That's actually straight up just a play. If he's spamming Blizzard, then if that in that case, I think the strat might be to go into Mama Swine here. An earthquake. So he's gonna dig. Foul play, yup. Oh, that's gonna do a lot. Oh my god. That did far too much, honestly. Blizzard again. I live that because I have the thick fat. The hail stops. Fortunately, I need to heal up Black. Dude, this foul play is doing so much damage to me. If we can... Hold on, I think... I, I, I actually avoided the attack that time. I think I can... Okay, so I should be at Earthquake now. Well, I have to be faster than Crocodile. Because he's going to go for Blizzard again. I resist that. There's like 50 damage. He's gonna go for foul play. If he outspeeds me, that could potentially kill me. What's my speed stat? 109? D Dude, this sucks. I'm gonna heal and hope to and pray that Flygon pulls through and does something. Okay, brilliant. We're safe. Alright. Played it safe. Uh, unfortunately, Flygon's dead now. But we're good. That's what matters. And it's 1v1 now. So 1v1 now. Toxic. Alright, that's fine. Toxic damage is fine. We can strength again. Really? 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 
fuck? Oh, dude, you deserve that crit. The double protect. Alright, I need to switch up. Oh, there's just no switching. If he has pursuit, I'm fucked. Do I have a full restore? Nope. Dude, I can't. That's gonna do half my health. I have to switch into summit. Don't pursue. Thank you. Alright, we're safe. So I can use bullet punch, kill, weave off. It's all 53, dude. No crit. Alright, bullet punch should kill. In all honesty, bullet punch should kill. Because this thing's frail as anything. It just didn't kill. If he crits me, I'm missed. Alright, we're good. Now I can bullet punch. Oh, mate. This game sucks. Stupid scary. Pressuring I felt from just now. What was that? My ultimate power! These trailers remind me of that one from a new few years ago. My import me more important. We must continue our search. Like that scientist said, it might be an opulent city. We'll play with you again later. Get back here, criminal scum! Alright, so. Alright. Oh, we're alive. We've lived the we've lived to see another day. Which is uh fan tabby dozy. I do say so myself. We have Route 12 to catch a Pokemon on as well now. Okay, we're on Route 12, Village Bridge, and Route 11. Okay, so I actually remember this part of the game. Um, I need to remember we actually have a we have a Pokemon to hatch, but I'm gonna do that at the uh, at the beginning of the next episode, I think, just because I'm running out of time. Here we are. We have two Pokemon to hatch right here, so I'll make sure we do that in the start of the next episode. But I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna have to wrap this episode up right here because I have to do something else. I got actually a. Uh, Breaking the fourth wall a little bit, but I'm recording some more verses right now, which we're doing on Pat's channel right now. So if you want to check that out, you know, go check out Patter's channel. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you did enjoy, hit the like button down below. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for checking out the video, and I'll see you guys next time. We're heading over to Route 13, Village Bridge. No, Route 12, Village Bridge, Route 11, and then hopefully we'll be hitting Opalicid City as well. See you guys then.